if you want to be a true pro-German, and if you want to understand what German football is all about, you need to know some key German words. Angst, practically an English word we use it so often. It means, of course, fear. Now, fear is something that every footballer and every football supporter feels most of the time uh, for obvious reasons. Some feel it more than others, but of course, Germany will feel it now because the pressure is on them to win the World Cup, having done so well against so many teams and especially against Brazil. So there's plenty of angst going around. Uh, angst amongst the German team, angst in Germany, lots of angst, sehr viel angst. Schadenfreude, it's a long word. It's a composite noun, we love those composite nouns in Germany. Schadenfreude means literally pain, joy, the glee, the the joy felt at someone else's expense, at someone else's pain. And there's one character, one footballer, who has incurred more schadenfreude than any other in the World Cup, and that, of course, is Luis Suarez, the Uruguayan striker, the biter, the vampire of the pitch, shamelessly expelled from the ranks of the World Cup for having bitten the Italian player. So plenty of schadenfreude for him, unless, of course, you happen to be a Liverpool supporter or indeed you go on. Weltschmerz, world pain. It denotes the kind of romantic pain uh, that comes about when you feel the discrepancy, the gulf, the chasm between your mental ideal and what your body can actually achieve. And I guess you could say that there's plenty of that going around in the ranks of the Brazilian players at the moment. They have a lot of Weltschmerz. Realpolitik, real politics. This is about the pragmatism of princely rulers, you know, deeply pragmatic, no idealism, just get the job done, you know, and, and you're number one. Realpolitik applies beautifully to one organization in particular, and the word FIFA comes to mind on that one. Sturm und Drang. This is another term from the Romantic era, literally translated means storm and urge. Now, this does not uh, describe a bladder problem of any description. This is about expressing your feelings, your extreme feelings and letting your hair down. And you could say that actually, although this storm und drang mood is normally associated with Brazilian players or perhaps Italian players or Latin players, the German team have been showing a lot of storm und drang because they've been incredibly loose and, 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 and liberal on the pitch. So, Schadenfreude, Angst, Sturm und Drang, Realpolitik and Weltschmerz. And now you speak fluent German. Enjoy the game.